uh, said the country is able to produce agricultural and non-agricultural goods with a given amount of resources. Its production person, its PPC is shown here. So we have the PPC of this country, of this economy, at this point. We have point W, X, Y, and Z. So let's go to the question. It says, which one of the following points shows unemployed resources? First, at this point, resources are fully used and concentrated on agricultural goods. At this point, resources are fully used and concentrated on or dedicated on non-agricultural non goods. At this point, no, 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 no. The, the resources available is not enough to reach this space. So we don't talk about that at all. Yes. Then we go into here. This is an inward, we'll call it inward shift. What do I call it? Inward shift. Inward shift. The word shift will be as a result of resources not fully utilized. So that means resources are unemployed. Because, it, because the economy has the capacity to reach this point. This point yes. It has the capacity to reach either here or here. But if the resources, if the economy is producing at this point, it means it's not fully utilizing its resources. Do you get the point? Yes, that's so, B. so the answer is what? B. B. Yes. Is it clear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We move on. Trade union is an organization that aims to create it. It's like a trade union. What's a trade union? Employee rights. What? Employee rights. What's a trade union? That's my question. It's an organization. It's an organization. No. It's an organization that has that uh, are made for to protect employee uh, rights. A trade union is an organization that protects the interest of. Employees. Protects the interest of employees. So now I say, a trade union is an organization that aims to protect the interest of employees the same as what? Employee rights. I think it's clear. Yes. Can we move on, please? Yes. I said, stay small is a why firms stay small. The firm can stay small because of size. lack of finance. I love the size of the market. What? Size of the market. Lack of finance. Size of the market. Okay. What else? Uh, like niche. Decision of yeah, the niche, decision yeah. of the owner. Niche, if niche market. Why niche? What makes what makes about a niche market? Because uh, like the. Because it's too small. No. Because only one controls. So only one is big. Yeah. Not the, the other firms are small. No. Who wrote niche marketing? I didn't write. Who wrote niche marketing? No, I didn't write it. I wrote uh, like a file. I wrote size. Well, a niche market is a market for specific goods. So, because that market is for specific customers, it doesn't have need to be big because you have targeted customers. That's why the business is really small. I think it's good. Yes. Move on. It said, if firm increases supply by 2.7% following a price increase of 4.9, calculate the PES. 2.7 over 4.4. PES is quantity change the quantity supply over change in supply. 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 supply. Change in 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 supply. Yes. I think it's clear, right? Yes. Shall we move on? Yes. Alright, okay, yes, I'll leave it that way. Price maker. Who is a price maker? A price maker is a firm that makes the price because of its dominance. Uh, dominant, I wrote a dominant company that sets the price. Dominant company that sets the price? Yeah. What did you write? The same, same thing, just say that. What did you write? No, you can't say the same. What did you write? How did you write yours? I wrote that uh, a dominant business or dominant firm that uh, sets the uh, price of the market. What did you write? Dominant, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's the price in the market. Okay. Specific firm sets a price in the market. Where did you get that from? Where did you get that from? No. From Google, right? Huh? Yes. I don't have so how did you get that? How did you get that point? No way, I won't take that. Well, when you call, we call it a price maker because that firm is the only one in that market, or it's the only one dominating that market, so it sets the price. 
Example of price maker. Yeah, example of it could be a monopoly. Yes. A monopoly is a price maker because it's the only one in the business. Do you get the point? Yes. So price maker are businesses that are able to set price in the market yes. because of their dominance. Is it clear, please? Yes. So move on. Thank you. The question says, this kind of is why the computer can be a factor of production. Yes. I love so a computer can help me to make good and goods and services so computer is a capital. What did you write? I skipped this one. What did you write? Yeah. What did you write, Manu? Uh, computer help to make use of goods and services. So. Alright. Well, the question is saying, this kind of one reason why computer can be a factor of production. Before we go into what computer is, factors of production are resources that help in the production of goods and services, right? Yes. Factors are application, violence. Because it produces goods and services. Yes. But that is not the real capital. Yeah. Capital is wealth that is used in producing other wealth. Wealth that is used in producing what? Wealth that is used. So if I wrote it like now, I said it's going. Go. In producing other wealth. For example, machine. For example, machine, which is part of what a computer is. Computer. Is it clear? Yes. Do you want to write anything about this? No. You go to G. So, Abby owns a small cafe. It's often very busy, and customers may have to wait for a table. For a table. That means the key to be on the queue. The service there is not that good. So, Abby is considering whether to move to a larger premises. Larger premises. A larger property has become available, but it will cost almost double the current rent. Explain one factor that would affect whether Abby is able to expand her business or not. So basically, here, what the point, the point here is that Abby's business is supposed to be bigger based on its customer base. But customers always wait for their turn because Abby doesn't have that capability to expand at that point in time. Yeah. So they said one factor that would affect Abby's ability to expand. One of the factors should be finance. Well, finance. So when you think about finance, the disbursement of cash. So Abby will be able to expand his business if she's able to get finance. But I think that this to get finance might hinder expansion. Do you get the point here? So the first one is about finance. Finance will help Abby. One of the factors that will make Abby to want to think about uh, expansion would be the availability of finance. That means accessibility. Accessibility to finance. To finance, I think. levels in the busy Indonesian city of Jakarta are mainly due to the large volume of traffic. There are over 17 million vehicles registered in the area, each emitting fumes into the environment. That's pollution. 
The number of airports is increasing. In, 27, in 2007, government regulations were introduced, government regulations. That is one of the ways in which market failure can be solved. Or to reduce negative externalities. Because even pollution is a negative externality. So we are introduced. We are introduced to reduce the volume of traffic in the city. For example, every Sunday morning, over 80 kilometers of Jakarta's roads are traffic free as vehicles are banned. In 2016, it was reported that air quality had improved by 65% compared to the levels before the regulation was introduced. So, with reference to the information we have and our knowledge of economics, they said, assess the effectiveness of government regulation when dealing with externalities such as air pollution in Jakarta. So, the first thing you have to talk about is pollution itself. Pollution is an externality, a negative externality, right? Yeah. So, we said pollution. Pollution is negative externality. That's the first one. Pollution is negative externality. Oh, why is it a negative externality? Because it creates spillover to the third party. Yeah. Yes, please. 